We make everything from small aluminum castings to chunky, heavy copper alloy castings in the same molding uh, process, same molding machine, and of course the same sand. We make sand molds, two different types, green sand and chemically bonded no-bake sand. And we pour the metal from those furnaces into those molds on a daily basis. Internally, our outside customers, we have the railroad, we have food machinery, we have glass bottle mold type castings that we make along with other products for um, corrosive materials as far as aluminum and, and nickel aluminum bronzes that we make on a regular basis. We can make heavy brass for a couple hours and then switch over to aluminum. We had to have something that could manage the up and the down of those two extremes. Hot and heavy, light and cool. The Muller combination with the Hartley has given us that. That was the reason why we chose to select the Simpson Mix Muller, uh, the 1.5G. Together with the Hartley controller, it gave us the ability to properly control our sand for all these changing applications. With the uh, variable speed drive on the Muller and the Hartley controller, the system takes care of itself. Every batch of sand is tested. We focus on the compactability of the sand and um, that gives us the controls that we need and, and it's all done automatically. They're built like the old tanks of World War II. You can run them forever as long as you do some basic maintenance, they will run. The most recent purchase that we've had is the Proclaim, two cell Proclaim, which is taking our sand and reprocessing it. When we first started with this machine, we were using 40% reclaimed sand and 60% new sand. Currently, we're using 95% reclaimed and 5% new sand. The overall uh, reason that we wanted to do this is basically to keep the sand that we purchase within the building, minimize, if at all possible, anything that we throw away, and give us the quality for our customers. From an environmental standpoint, our, our carbon footprint needs to be better. Sustainability of a foundry, you need to take into consideration long-term aspects. Not only buying raw materials, but also what do you do with the leftovers. Having the ability to literally go out to the Simpson facility in Aurora, witness the equipment in use, and see exactly what kind of conditions we would get and the improvement and the quality of the sand were critical in, in our decision. The green sand system, the mix muller, as well as the Proclaim have had uh, no downtime. Uh, we work very closely with the Simpson uh, service personnel and having the ability to directly tie into our equipment and see what's going on and run diagnostics. We work with very short lead times and we can't afford any downtime on our equipment. So that ability for a continuous operation is critical and Simpson has taken care of that for us. My relationship with Simpson is, is very good. From the president on down to the employees, we have a working relationship. The uh, PPC agreements that we have with Simpson, having them come out twice a year and help us understand how do you replace it. I'd like to have some help to understand how to take it apart, to minimize downtime, what parts we have to put in, how to put them in. That's where they come in, and they have the experts to do that over at Simpson. Their technical expertise is second to none in the industry, and they work very well with the entire industry through various associations, not only from helping individual foundries, but training as well. So a small foundry such as ours, we don't have the ability to have a great support personnel on staff. So having the Simpson personnel there to support us is a great feature.